50 degree VTC on a K24 and we're starting right now. We are back. Welcome to the night shift. I'm Will Nidick. This is my K24A. We're going to be taking off this RBB cam gear and replacing it with an RBC for the Integra back here. So we got the RBC manifold already. I did the K20A2 oil pump upgrade. So, yep, let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is get a 15 16th wrench, 15 16th 15 16 wrench uh, for the little spot on the cam right. Where's it at? There we go. Right there to hold it. Uh, you either want a friend or an impact to take this guy off, um, and then you put your RBC cam gear on it, put the bolt back in it, hold it down, torque it to 88 foot-pounds, and you're done. Put the chain on, put it in time, you're done. So I'm going to try and do this one-handed as much as I possibly can, otherwise the camera is going to be sitting on this this here engine stand. Uh, my uh, camera prop, I guess you could say, my tripod. So we have here the uh, state of the art, uh, I don't even know how you say that, Bauer, maybe? Uh, Harbor Freight corded half inch impact. Runs about $179.99, you know, something like that. So we're going to try it. It worked on the other cam. Uh, we're gonna see. Yeah, it's cutting the light out. <laughs> we're gonna see if it works. Let's see. Let's do this. Very nice. So I just want everyone to understand that I'm doing this at home, no concrete, no garage, I've got a Harbor Freight tent on some damn wood, no air compressor, questionable knowledge, a little bit of buzz going. I mean, this is a dangerous concoction of just whatever, you know? Uh, but I'm out here doing it. So you can do this, you just gotta do it. So, <laughs> do it. If anyone was wondering what that was, it's good. Take the old and crusty, the stupid 25 degree off. Take your nice little RBC. There you go. Line it up. There's a little dowel pin right here on the cam. Okay. I said that. There we go. Now you want to put the bolt back in, and do not impact it on. You can, but I highly recommend you torque it the way uh, God intended it. Get your brand new, brand spanking new Pittsburgh Harbor Freight uh, torque wrench, and your Pittsburgh Harbor Freight 15 sixteenths.
set this hoe to 88 foot pounds. And then now the fun part, because this is going to suck. Because this thing is a absolute beast. Eighty-eight foot pounds does not sound like a lot. <laughs> but when you're fighting yourself, it's a lot. So now, put your guide back on. I just took off. So, you need to make sure that everything's in time. Uh, the crank is. But, I've come out a little bit on each cam gear. So, I'm going to have to rotate them, get your K24 chain, you've got that little gold spot, that little gold spot that's for the cams, yep. both of those, get both of these two lines facing each other, and then this final uh, lone gold link is for the bottom. Probably can't see it, but there's a little dot right in here on the crank. See it? Right there. And you gotta get that last gold link right there. Uh, I think I did it in reverse. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I may have done it in reverse, so uh, we're going to go the other way with it and see what we come up with. Shut up! Dip shits. Dude, why? Boom.
Just like a dat. We have timing components. So, oh. there you have it. We are now in time. So, this is how I did it. RBC cam gear first. After you get the cam gear on there, get your chain. Make sure the crankshaft is in time. Make sure that this gold link is on that dot that I showed you. On the dot, covering it, go around into this guide, line it up with this cam gear first, and remember to put those put it in between that dot or put the dot in between the two gold links same on this side go around this side I had this bolt loosely on this bolt out so that the tensioner could hang and that way this guide could come out a little bit more because it's really tight I tried to get it with the tensioner like basically like this with my pin in it and it wouldn't it wasn't going so I'd forgotten that keep this swung down pull the chain around here remove the slack out of it pry this up put your tin in tighten them both pull your pin out of the tensioner and you're in time by the way I want to apologize that every single time I make a video there's dogs howling and barking in the background. Of course, most of them are the neighbor's dogs behind us. Uh, I can't really do anything about that. It is what it is, you know. So, uh, this is all I'm going to do tonight. It's kind of chilly outside. I just wanted to go ahead and get a video of that. Wrapping up the timing. Putting the RBC cam gear on. And getting it ready. I mean, it's ready for Honda Bond now. You know, Honda Bond do both the uh, oil pan and the timing cover and then uh, lock down the valve cover and then we're ready to rock and roll son we're almost there I'm so excited I can't wait for this thing so uh, anyway if you watched I know it's kinda short but if you watched thank you again so much for watching I'm gonna try and do my best to uh, shorten the, the amount of time that goes by between videos I can't really do that I, I wasn't really able to do that this week because this course my, was my first week back at Acura and it kicked my ass so I'm going to try my hardest to shorten the time between videos so with that thank you hope you guys have a great weekend and a good night and I will see you guys next time